Oh, got one right here. Got one. Oh, it's a good fish. Got one. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, look at him. Oh. Are you listening? Real journey. All right, so I just went into Dick's Sporting Goods right here. They just opened at 9 o'clock. Kind of got a late start because, well, they don't open until 9 o'clock. So let me show you what I got. I went in there for a minute. So I got the little 10-inch ribbon tail June bug color by Gambler. So this is a Florida company, and uh, they make some good swim baits and stuff like that. But I, was, I saw this, I was like, man, that is a nice purple. That is a nice June bug. And then I seen it's only $3. I was like, you know, I don't think I've used their 10-inch ribbon tail June bug color. So we grabbed it, $3. That's cheap. And then I needed some crawls, something with a smaller profile. So I just grabbed the yum ones. They're only $3 as well. These are the 3.5 CHR crawls. I don't know what Christie crawls is what they're called. This is black and blue flake. So another little $3 purchase. And then I almost grabbed the yum dingers, but I also noticed Gambler has Sankos as well that are only $3. So I got the five inch watermelon red Gambler Sankos. And uh, we're gonna throw those around for the first time as well. So that's $9, um, you know, tax and stuff. It's about $10. So. That's our $10 worth of baits. That's not including hooks and weights. I have hooks and weights. So we're going to go out and we're going to catch some fish with these today. And uh, yeah, that's going to be today's video. $10 Dick Sporting Goods Challenge. Let's get out there and let's catch some fish. But I have a drive to, to make because we're not going to be fishing in our backyard like we have been fishing. We're going to make a drive. We're going to go to the villages in Florida. And I am unfamiliar with that area, so... We're going to try and find a spot that we can catch some fish with these. And, uh, yeah, try to explore some new waters. That's what I really enjoy doing on Real Journey. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out there and explore some new ponds and maybe find some new spots to go to because the villages is only like an hour away from me. So, all right, let's get on the road and let's get to the villages and let's catch some fish. All right. All right, so I found a nice little spot. I think it's nice. I don't know. We'll have to see if there's any fish in it that we can catch, but looks nice. It actually goes way around the corner. So this is a lake. This isn't even a pond. This is a lake. And actually behind me, there's another one. So we're going to throw our bait around. I'm going to start off with the little crayfish, and uh, we're going to see if we get bit. All right, well, we did a full lap. We didn't get a fish. I'm not going to do a full lap around this other one, this other lake right behind here is just as big as this one and that's going to take up too much time i feel like these bigger bodies of water is going to be hard to catch some fish because they're probably going to be sitting down low out in the middle even suspended out in the middle it's still going to just be too far for me to catch them especially with the lures that i have to catch them with so i don't think we're going to catch them <laughs> on these bigger bodies of water we're going to have to find a smaller pond found another pond it's not small i was hoping to find a small pond but it's smaller than the one we were just at oh a bunch of turtles just jumped in right here there's actually a a tunnel right here i didn't even notice oh got one right here got one oh it's a good fish <laughs> yes <laughs> oh baby we didn't get skunked in the villages <laughs> all right caught one in the villages He's a feisty little guy. We're gonna toss him back and we're gonna try and catch some more. That was the first cast here. And uh, right as I was walking up to the bank, I noticed a bunch of turtles hopped in off this tunnel down into the water. I'm like, oh, a tunnel, those are great. <laughs> Fish are always around them. Let me toss in right there, boom. <laughs> All right, nice little fish. All right, let's toss him back. All right, I seriously doubt there's another fish there. But sometimes when I think there's not another fish there, there is. So, <laughs> so I'm going to toss this back over here. And I'm going to try and fish that same spot a little bit more. Or at least make two more casts there. All right. Oh, dude, there's some baby turtles right there. Yeah, I wish they were closer and I could reach them. They're out in the water. Those are some cool looking ones too. I don't even know what those are. 
Look at him. Dude, he's got like white spots on his back. He's got red on his face. There's two of them. They're coming up next to each other. They're not red-eared sliders. They're something else. And there's another baby one over. Oh, there's two more baby ones around this corner. Dude, that means there's a stack of turtles right here. That's so cool. I don't know if you guys can see them. <laughs> they just swam away. Oh, there's another one out further. Pretty cool. So this is really cool. I don't know what this is right here, but we're gonna make a cast near it. There definitely might be some bass over here. I'd like to catch a fish near this. How cool is that looking? We're definitely gonna make a handful of casts right here. Oh, just got bit. Oh, dude, he let go. Grabbed it and let go. Got one. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, look at him. Oh, jeez. Oh, there he is. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Woo. Got ourselves a tank in the villages. That's a nice fish. We're going to see if we can catch more of these out here. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> and then we caught it with this cool location behind us. Isn't that a cool spot? I, I saw this spot and thought, you know, I think there might be a fish around this. This just looks different. All right, let's let's uh, put this puppy back. Woo! All right. Let's get this back in the water. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, we caught a big one in the villages. That's... That's why we come out here, you know? Now, come into these new ponds and new waters, and I mean, a lot of people think, you know, that I have a ton of fishing spots. I do, I have a ton of fishing spots. And it's because I explore, you know? But, you do have to catch the fish. <laughs> if you don't catch the fish, then it doesn't matter what spot you go to, they all suck. So, <laughs> we, uh, we did catch one out here. We caught two out here, but that was a really good one. That one was nice. And, uh, yeah. Whew. I think it gave off some kind of chemicals in the water because there's like this blue, almost gasoline shine right here. I don't know what that's about. But, uh, pretty crazy. Caught a fish out here. That's a good size one. I felt a little nibble on one of the casts where I was reeling in slow, and I was like, ooh. Something almost pecked at that. Something almost grabbed that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep casting in this spot and just have that nice slow retrieve and, and see if we get hammered. And I think I, I just ran that crayfish by him too many times. Finally said, I'm going to get that. <laughs> he just chased it and grabbed it. Whew. All right. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I didn't want to switch that lure. I thought, you know, I, I mean, if I put on another lure, sure, I might catch a fish on that. But the color of this water, that black and blue, is the move. This is like pretty dark and dirty water. So I like that black and blue over the June bug. The June bug would do all right out here. But uh, the June bug is a worm. And a lot of that worm is not going to be where the hook is. That crayfish has a smaller profile. And they just haven't been biting that well lately. So that fish right there, if it would have came up and hammered that uh, tail of that ribbon tail, that June bug color worm I got, because of the way they're biting, it might have just came up and hammered the tail and not got the hook. Because that crayfish is such a small profile, those claws are only so long there, and they're hanging just behind that, that uh, hook. If he grabs those crawls, most likely he's going to get that hook too. So that's why I was like, you know... I think I should just stick with this. I could probably throw out that that other, the Senko as well, but it's a watermelon, you know, red flake. That does better in like clearer water. This is kind of dark and dirty, so I just I just want to stick with the crayfish. I don't know if that means we didn't complete the challenge, you know. I'm 
I'm going to do what works, okay? <laughs> Those, if we were on a little pond and the water clarity was somewhere in the middle, I can catch fish with all three of those. And if we were on a pond that's clear, we'd throw the Senko. And then we were on a pond that was this, we'd throw the Jumbo. And then this, we'd throw the black and blue. So I kind of covered my basis with those three, but they're not necessarily good to catch uh, all in one place like this one. So, so yeah, that's my little two cents. That's why I'm fishing the black and blue. We're going to get out here and try to catch some more with that bad boy. Woo! <laughs> Real journey. All right, so if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And through the month of October, I did 22 videos, Monday through Friday, every day I post a video. I'm trying to do that through November, Monday through Friday. So if you want to see daily content, make sure you have that notification bell hit. All right, so today was a success. Technically, we didn't catch uh, something on all three baits, but to be honest, that wasn't really my objective. But a lot of challenges are done that way. I just wanted to catch some fish out here. I've never been out here. I was exploring new ponds. And we were able to catch fish, including two good ones. I mean, the small one wasn't even a bad fish. So we caught two good ones out here. That second one was even better, though, with the Dick Sporting Goods lures. And I think this challenge was a success. I enjoyed myself out here. This was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'd like to leave my videos on a tip, and... Now is it real?